When a well dies, it becomes a source of food for a host of other animals. But if the dead well's carcass makes it deep to the bottom of the ocean, their death can give life to a new, extreme type of ecosystem. We just discovered a dead well 1,500 meters deep in the Burma Canyon, and it's teeming with unusual life. Wow, that's really for sure when we discovered this expedition. They may really trigger a, one of the most fascinating ecosystems we have on Earth. Some of this life we recognize as clams, snails, worms, and crustaceans. But it's very likely to contain a weirder form of life too. Chemosynthetic life doesn't rely on sunlight and it makes energy from inorganic chemicals. It's this type of life we find near hydrothermal vents and cold seeps. And it's the kind of life we'll be looking for on other planets. It's what we love to call a oasis of life, a hotspot of biodiversity, different from the corals, but equally immensely important. I doubt that we can really pick up the entire thing no easily. Was, was... I think when we start to move, uh, then we'll be in avalanche and we lose what is on site now. You, you, you can spend a long time searching and never find one. A lot of the whale fall studies have actually relied on finding a stranded and already dead whale, towing it out to sea and then weighting it down, sinking it to the seafloor and then coming back to it after a period of time to study. So to find a, a natural one, it's indeed a very rare find. I should think Dave Ricks, the nature photographer, he was bringing us some uh, information about the whale activity in these waters. Now we try to collect the bone. Chances are high that it's going to collapse. When you're grabbing a sample, you're kind of holding on to your breath. So great job. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Cody. That was not easy. So we are very, very happy. It is obviously one of the best day of my life, scientifically speaking. Chances high, in my opinion, that some of those are new species. Another great achievement of such an expedition. We found several more well bones in the Bremer Canyon, covered in colorful bacteria and these chemosymbiotic animals. We still have many questions about this form of life. We know so little about how they move across the vast ocean and get from place to place. Some people think these deep sea wells are a stepping stone for chemosynthetic life in the ocean, but we haven't really studied them enough to fully understand it. As you can see, there's a huge community, uh, very densely populated. We've got a painstaking task of actually kind of going through this in a very methodical way. Once we've pulled things off, we'll be sorting them into species groups, uh, working out the best way to preserve them so they can have their uh, DNA sequenced to compare them with similar species from whale falls around the world. Our skull is just is a natural laboratory where to appreciate on a very uh, small scale some of the most important processes uh, uh, acting on the seafloor to see how uh, inorganic compounds can be turned into life available to more complicated organisms beside microbes. One of the most quintessential processes to get it to life in the universe.